Hello wine people, in this video I'll be talking about one of my favorite grape varieties, Riesling. I'll explain everything that you need to know for your WST level 2 in wine course. This is our first video where we specifically talk about all the grape varieties that you will learn during your WST level 2 in wine course. But in the previous videos we talked about all the factors that are affecting style and quality of the wines. So please, if you did not see these videos, please do because these videos will help you to develop your better understanding for wine. There's a lot of also mock exams. Um, it is nice for you to test your knowledge on these mock exams, to remember the fact information, but the bigger picture is for you to develop your bigger understanding for wine. On this channel, we want to help you a little bit for you to uh, learn a little bit about wine, uh, to pass your WSET exam and we also want to change the world of wine. So if this is something that is interesting for you, please consider subscribing. So let's go! Okay wine people, in this video we will be talking about characteristic styles of Riesling, viticulture and winemaking. We will mention all the appellations that you need to remember for your WST level 2 in wines, uh, labeling and on the end we will answer 10 WST uh, multiple choice uh, questions. Uh, Riesling is, like I said, one of my uh, favorite uh, grape varieties. It is also one of the most uh, misunderstood uh, grape varieties in the world. Uh, there's a lot of people that, uh, that love this grape variety, but there's a lot of misconception that uh, Riesling is only a, a simple, uh, simple uh, sweet uh, wine. And this has a lot to do with, you know, the past um, of Riesling, especially in Germany, where they produced um, a high quantity of low quality uh, uh, Riesling uh, wines in the past, and especially Liu Fraumilch, which was a blend of not only Riesling, but also uh, other grape varieties. And uh, this uh, reputation actually even today confuses a lot of people about the, the quality and the diversity of Riesling. Riesling is uh, a grape variety that enjoys a long, cool uh, growing season. It is actually one of the grape varieties that has the highest potential for aging and complexity. So I'll try to explain uh, all the all the qualities of Rieslings that are uh, of Riesling that are affecting this um, this styles. Okay. So characteristic style. Um, I'll, I'll talk about everything that is important for WSET level two uh, level. So for wine color, um, it's pale to medium. Uh, pale to medium, even uh, even. Um, not deep, but almost deep because uh, Riesling can age very well and the color of Le uh, Riesling will change with time. You can find some Rieslings that are 20, 30, even more years old and of course their, their color will, will change. When they're young, they're going to be pale, pale lemon and when they're uh, 30 years old, they're going to be medium to deep uh, brownish in, in color. Sweetness levels, Riesling is very famous for that, that it produces um, wines in a, a wide range of sweetness. Wines can be bone dry, so extremely dry with high acidity and also lusciously sweet. Acidity with Riesling is, is always high. Um, this is one of the qualities that actually enables Riesling to age for a very long time together with the flavor intensity. Alcohol is low to medium depending on the ripeness and also depending on, on, the, on the sweetness. If the wines are from a cool climate, they're, they're gonna produce less sugar, but they still have, um, they still have option to produce dry or, or, or sweet wine. Uh, wines when are f uh, fully ripe and fermented to dryness, they're going to have the medium uh, medium level of, uh, of alcohol. Uh, body, it can be light to full. Um, if you have a, a Riesling from a very cool climate like Mosul, it's going to be on a lighter style. Uh, but if you produce um, a Riesling uh, from a warmer climate, 
and also especially if you produce it in a Trockenbausch Lese style, this, uh, these wines will be lusciously sweet and full, uh, full body. Uh, flavor of Riesling, not just Riesling, but uh, any grape variety uh, really depends on, on the climate and, uh, and the level of ripeness. So if a grape variety grows in a, in a cool climate, it will have this more fresh uh, green and citrus uh, citrus flavor, but it, if the grape variety uh, uh, grows in a warmer climate or you have uh, later harvest, the grape will develop more, uh, more riper flavors, more sugar. Uh, so, regarding the flavor, uh, aromatic, uh, it's an aromatic grape variety, uh, produces uh, fruity, floral, depends on the ripeness, green, stone and tropical uh, flavors. In the vineyard, um, uh, Riesling has a thick skin, that it, it's a hardy grape variety, um, it, uh, it can grow well in, in cool climates. It grows in a cool to moderate climate. Uh, in, for the wine making, it is a great variety that I personally did not see uh, in, uh, in, in uh, blended wines. So it's usually always 100% uh, Riesling. Uh, it doesn't age in oak. I also did not see Riesling aged in oak. It is aromatic grape variety and it has this uh, fruity and uh, very specific uh, petrol like aromas that will really get destroyed if you would age it in oak so it usually ages in inert vessels vessels that don't impact uh, flavor to to riesling or if it can age especially for example in a, in alsace in a old big barrels that basically just contribute uh, controlled oxidation but they don't impart uh, flavor from the from the oak development like I said Riesling is one of the best grape varieties for aging it can age for a very very long time appellations that you need to remember for your WST level 2 in wine uh, course are here regions uh, uh, re uh, countries and regions like Germany uh, countries like France and uh, Australia. In Germany you need to remember three appellations, three regions, that is Mosel Ranga in Pfalz, in France you need to remember uh, region of Alsace and in Australia you need to remember Eden Valley and Clare Valley. And here um, and this information I put in in Excel sheets because um, for me the way that I uh, the best uh, the best way for me to learn is actually if I organize things and I like to use Excel sheets it helps me it helps me in this organization uh, so I'll explain all the factors that are relevant for WST level doing wines for you to remember and to understand we're not going to talk about all the all the factors that you need to know um, so in Germany uh, Mosel is one of the uh, coolest regions, so it's a co coolest climate, north, uh, it has a Mosel, Mosel River that uh, helps with the, with the ripening uh, process and also development of noble rot. Um, the aspect, the direction of the slopes um, uh, helps with the, with the ripening of the grapes. Uh, and soil, uh, Mosel has a very specific slate soil that also uh, retains heat and reflects sunlight into the grapes that also uh, helps with the ripening. In this kind of marginal climate where it's very very cold all factors that can uh, contribute to the grape uh, ripening development are very very uh, beneficial. Usually uh, because of this uh, lack of ripeness and high acidity of Riesling uh, many of uh, uh, most of the reasons are actually all dry. It means that they have a little bit of residual sugar in order to balance this uh, high acidity. In Rheingau, Rheingau is, uh, uh, is a little bit warmer region, produces uh, fuller, drier styles of wine. Rhine River it also uh, helps with the ripening process. 
uh, and also the aspect direction uh, of uh, vineyards facing the, the river uh, and the sun helps with the, with the ripening process. Faults, um, it has a mountain that protects uh, from the, from the uh, bad weather. It's a warmer region, produces, uh, it's a drier region because of this mountain protection and produces a drier style of, um, of Riesling. In, in France, in Alsace, you're gonna learn about Vosges Mountains. Vosges Mountains are very important for the region because they protect the region from the bad weather that is coming from the, from the west. And this uh, mountain enables um, dry and cool a uh, long growing season in, in Alsace, which is very uh, beneficial for, uh, for Riesling. It has also uh, aspects. Um, it has everything's basically, almost everything is on, on a slope facing the sun. And this is also helping with the, with the ripening process. Uh, the style of Riesling in Alsace, in many cases is dry with pronounced flavors, medium, uh, medium body. Like I mentioned before, they use these uh, big oak, oak barrels uh, that don't impact flavor, but uh, enable controlled uh, contact with, with oxygen that produces more complex uh, style of reasoning. The labeling terms that you need to remember for Alsace are VT and CGN. VT means Vendage Tardive means late harvest um, with Vintage Tardive these grapes are going to be riper and the style of wine can be dry it can be with residual sugar uh, selection the Grand Nobles is even um, it is uh, selective uh, selective picking of grapes that are uh, that are very ripe and if you have a uh, selection the Grand Nobles uh, on the label, this means that the wine is definitely going to be uh, sweet, sweet and full body. And also the, uh, you need to remember the labeling term Grand Cru that indicates the, the highest quality vineyards that are going to produce the, the most complex, highest quality wines. In Australia, you need to remember Eden Valley and Clare Valley. Uh, Australia, both of them are located in South Australia where the climate is warm and Mediterranean, but um, these two regions are on higher altitude and this higher altitude uh, allows um, longer, growing, uh, longer growing season and cooler climate that benefits uh, Riesling. Uh, in these regions, the, the style of reason will always be dry with pronounced uh, lime and petrol uh, aroma. This is how um, uh, wines uh, regions of Germany uh, look like. So the, the three that you need to remember is here in blue, dark blue, Mosel, uh, Rheingau is here, and Faltz is here okay in france you need to remember alsace which is located here in the northeast corner of france that is basically bordering with uh, with germany with uh, with false region in australia you need to remember eden valley which is located here east of adelaide and claire valley that is located north uh, German labeling terms that you need to uh, that you need to uh, understand. I'll explain them now. So land vine, the labeling term is PGI. Um, this actually PGI category is is very uh, very limited in in Germany. They're not using it frequently. Most of the cases you're gonna find. Um, PDO labels that will indicate a specific region for uh, where the wines are uh, made and grapes are coming from. So Germany has 13 Qualitats wine PDO regions. Example is, is Mosel, Rheingau and Pfalz, like I said. And they have a specific uh, labeling terminology that is indicating 
the ripeness of grapes. This labeling terminology is called predicates wine. It is included together uh, in the PDO, uh, PDO classification and it has uh, six predicate levels that I'll explain now. So the categories, uh, the six ca uh, predicate uh, categories are here on the left. You can see them, you can see their names, cabinet, Spatlese means late harvest, Ausschlese means selected harvest, Bernauschlese or BA for short, uh, selected berry, uh, berry harvest, ice wine, ice wine, ice wine, uh, TBA or Trockenbauschlese, selected dry berry harvest. So what you need to remember, what you need to understand uh, for this uh, predicates wine labeling is that it indicates the level of ripeness of grapes. It doesn't indicate the level of sweetness. So the first three categories, Cabinet, Spatlese, Auschlese, they are different level of ripeness, but all three wines can be made in a dry or sweet style. So Mosel, uh, so for example, cabinet wine will always be lighter and fresher. Auschlese should always be more riper because it's going to be harvested later. All three categories, like I said, what you need to remember can be dry, can be sweet. Uh, description here. So the cabinet will be the lightest with green fruit. Spatlese will be fuller with riper fruit uh, and Auschlese will be even riper, uh, fuller and riper. So if all three wines, Cabinet, Spatlese and Auschlese are dry, the highest uh, alcohol will be the uh, Auschlese wine and it will be the fullest wine of the three. Next we go to um, uh, Bernau, Schleze and I, Ice Wine, this, uh, for these two categories the, the level of ripeness is the same. Ice Wine need to be made in a specific style where the grapes are picked later in the, later in the season. Uh, uh, in, in most cases it's even in, in January or in the, in the next year when the grapes are picked but they need to be picked uh, at a certain temperature. Um, and this uh, Ice Wine will have pure flavor of reasoning and it will be very specific with um, uh, with ice wine uh, flavor. I mean when I say ice wine flavor it will not the, the grapes are going to be uh, frozen and they're not going to be affected by noble rot. They're going to be ripe, frozen and healthy grapes. With Bernau Schleze the wines uh, can be, they don't have to be, but in many cases part of the grapes is affected by noble rot. Both of these categories will always be sweet. So with Bernau Schleze it's selected bunches that can have botrytis effect. With frozen grapes, ripeness as BA, B, uh, as Bernau Schleze, but there's not going to be any uh, botrytis uh, flavor. TBA or Trockenbau Schleze, the wines will be the sweetest of all categories. They're going to be lusciously sweet. Uh, selected berries affected, this, uh, this grapes will always be affected by noble rot. Except these uh, six categories, the, uh, the other labeling terms that you should remember is Trocken and Halb Trocken. Trocken indicates that the wines are going to be dry and Halb Trocken indicates that there's going to be some level of, of sugar in the wine. Okay, so we finish with the theory part. Let's, uh, let's test our knowledge with 10, uh, 10 questions. Riesling is aromatic grape variety, true or false? The correct answer is A. It is aromatic grape variety. Which is not characteristic of Riesling? High acidity, range of sweetness, age as well, blends with other, other grapes. The correct answer is D, blends with other grapes. Riesling usually doesn't blend with other grapes. Which is not a region in Germany? Pfalz, Mosel, Clare Valley, Rheingau. The correct answer is C, Clare Valley. Clare Valley, like we said, it's in south, uh, southern Australia. 
which region produces lightest uh, Riesling? Uh, Alsace, uh, Mosul, Rheingau, Pfalz. The correct answer is B, Mosul. Which factor help with ripening of Riesling in Germany? Slate soil, rivers, aspect, all the above. Correct answer is D, all the above. How many PDO uh, regions have, uh, uh, does Germany have? Uh, 14, 15, 13, 16. This is not the type of uh, question that you can expect on WSET, but you know, it's just for you to uh, test, your, test your knowledge. And the correct answer is C, 13 PDO regions. Which labeling term indicates that wine will be sweet? Spatlese, Bernauschlese, Kabinet, Auschlese. The correct answer is B. Bernauschlese will always be sweet. Which labeling term indicates that wine will have botrytis flavor? Trockenbauschlese, Trocken, Kabinet, Ice wine. The correct answer is A. Trockenbauschlese. Which are labeling terms in Alsace? Cru or Grand Cru. Vendage Tardive, Selection de Grand Nobles, all the above. The correct answer is D, all the above. Which region is not famous for Riesling? Mosul, Eden Valley, Clare Valley, Puglia. The correct answer is D, Puglia. Let me know how well you did. Wine people, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If this video is helpful, fun and interesting for you, please consider subscribing sharing commenting all this uh, helps uh, this wine channel to to grow and to become better and to help more uh, more wine people like you we received so many uh, great comments that is very encouraging for us to to continue uh, what we're doing on this wine channel we believe this wine channel can change the world of wine thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video